video of the trail on the property. It's a four wheeler and the zero turn it used to make it. This first part of the trail I made with uh, one of those mini excavators, rented it for a day, got a lot of stuff done. This part of the trail was done, oh, probably about three or four months ago. We just got all this cleared. Basically the same concept, dig from the high side, stack it on the low side, and then sort of balance it out. But it's dirt, so it settles. Basically, I wanted to follow the creek, which also needs some work. When we rent the mini excavator this summer, I plan on clearing some of that creek bed out and some of those old stumps that they just threw in there. Plus taking care of this little sippy spot. Trench it out a little bit. Put a drain over the hill. All right. Basically followed the sort of old path that was here. Just kind of leveled it out so you're not sitting like this on the hill. And off to the right up here is the trail I started about a week ago, I believe. Working on a overlook there. Looks really good when there's water running through it. Came through with uh, Weed Eater. And lobbing shears, cut the path with it, ran over it with the zero turn, and then followed up with the rototiller, digging off the hillside, putting it on the low spot, and then packing it in with the four wheeler, and of course, walking it every day. pretty scenery in that creek and on the neighbor's property. This gives me easy access to my property lines. Or markers. This I did today where you see the color change in the dirt. <clears throat> There's a wet spot here, a bunch of rocks, and a really big rock underneath this section here. And the only way I could balance it out was bring these pallets down. That's where we came from. May as well go around the rest here. And then back to the path at hand. Dragged off old dead trees, threw them on the side of the path here to help hold the dirt up. Said some really pretty scenery. 
course, it'll look better when the leaves are gone, I'm sure. Seventy two degrees, February twentieth, twenty seventeen. Unseasonably warm, so if I'm not gonna get my winter, we'll work it. There's my rototiller. Waiting for the next leg of the journey. Still got a little bit I can tear off in this little spot right here. I think I'll fix that and the next day I can work on it. But this is where it's headed. I've already laid the branches down. I don't even think I'm going to weed it. I'm just going to use a rototiller and chew these briars up. River, another property marker down by the tree, and here I was debating, but I think I'm going to go that way, take out that little sapling. I'd rather use these trees as a sort of a guardrail, back up a little bit. Rather than rely on a couple of saplings plus it's not nearly as steep here as it is here so take this route between the trees and then we hit the deer path Just take out this knoll right here and then piece this together. Pretty well tamped down where on the path. It's a pretty old path. And that tree there will drag it with the four-wheeler once I get it. Well, I don't think four-wheeler will drag some of it. Another deer path. Try to take some off that knoll so it's a little smoother to operate or navigate. This log will be laying over here against the trees, that one and this one. And then the other piece I'll drag up here put it against these saplings in this big tree choices 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 don't know I might be able because it doesn't really look all that steep but take the path from here around the bottom by that tree, this tree Oops. down there turn around and come back up the path this way so that might be a better way of making it work I have to see how much room I got because down here is where my wife wants her little fire pit slash cookout area so I'll walk this one first. And from here, not real sure because if you look at the base of this tree, that's another property marker. We own the hillside to half of the river all the way down to somewhere in here so technically 
I'm standing right on the property line. Which I've already talked to the neighbors and they don't care. I even offered for them to come down and use the fire pit. But once this is cleared out, more or less recreational area will be right in there where those rocks are. The rocks will be cleared out, stacked between these two trees. And we'll get to enjoy some scenery. Well, down the woods. Plus, we'll be a little fire pit. We'll be burning some of this dead brush, like this dead tree here, a bunch of others. That's the plan. Can't really do much over this way. I don't know if the camera shows how steep it really is. But if we wanted any kind of boat access, I'd have to build stairs or something to get us down and up here. There's still the wreck area right there. Still those two trees. It's a work on progress. Once I get the trail to here, then I can haul materials in. When we first brought the property, I wanted to build a bridge here from right about where we're standing straight across. But uh, we, we own this hillside, not that one. I think neighbors might kind of frown on that. Pretty waterfall when it's Russian water. But that's the plan for here. Remember, there's that tree that's laying over the path. This won't be too hard to level out. I'm hoping once I get the trail done, it'll be big enough that I can get the mini excavator in here. Knock that over. It's been dead for quite a while. Get in here and use the bucket to get these big rocks stacked up. And then use the bucket to more or less level it out without losing any trees. It's been laying here. And there it is. Plan of making a path to here. Now I'll do a backtrack. It didn't take too long. We we'll have it go kart and ATV ready here before long. And that little sapling's got to go. Maybe that one. <coughs> we'll have to see. And then maybe by fall, or hell, even late summer, depending on what kind of spring we have, bringing down gravel to help hold this together a little bit.
It's uh, one person, one week. Broke chainsaw. So I'm waiting for the parts to fix it. So I can get that thing out of here. fix this make it a little more level and then let that path right there grow up even if I have to plant a tree in the middle of it if this is going to be the main one and it's going to come up on the back side of the property up over that hill There it is. Always pretty sunsets here. It's our house in the garage.